Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR, the next episode of the VR and AR weekly news. Let's check out the list. A new dogfight um, game uh, in the Star Wars universe, Star Wars Quadrants, is announced by Electronic Arts and it will have full VR support. Then Population One's getting an Oculus Quest test. Half-Life Alex uh, got an update. Solaris Offworld um, was, uh, we can see the first gameplay. Um, Oculus Quest versions of Onward and In Death and Gnomes and Goblins gets a release date. Also, I got the Star VR 1 finally. Uh, I will show the review soon. And of course, the newest releases and sales this week. You can find everything about VR and AI on this channel thanks to my sponsors Woodgirls VR, Opperman Events, Andy DeFelser VR Ambassador, Alpha Blend Interactive and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the weekly news and let's go! So yeah, that was a big surprise this week. Star Wars Quadrants is announced by Electronic Arts. And the cool thing is it will support virtual reality with the PlayStation VR and PC. So everything is about first person dogfights, everything. And um, we also have five versus five, five dogfights and stuff, single player story. And um, the story takes place after Return of the Jedi 1983 and it will be um, released on October 2nd, 2020 for 40 bucks on all platforms. And the cool thing is it will have um, cross-play support. That means if your friend has a PlayStation VR and you have a Valve Index, you can play with each other. That's really, really awesome. So what do you think? I want to play it now. I can't wait. <laughs> and of course, I will show it on my channel on perhaps the PlayStation VR and uh, the Valve Index, we will see. I am looking forward to Star Wars Quadrants. Population One, so um, there, if you perhaps already have an email, then you are invited for the play testing on the Oculus Quest. Um, so Population One is an upcoming Battle Royale shooter. I think the best one, I hope so. So, and uh, the play test will uh, take place in June. Or I think it already took place. I, I'm not sure. The game will be released uh, sometime in 2020. I have no idea about the exact date. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. So if you are lucky, you can already play it on your quest. And um, there will be cross-play support between the quest version and the PC version. That is really, really awesome. I will try it as soon as it's released. Valve released a new update for Half-Life Alyx. This is mostly not for a gamer, but for modders. So um, the update includes some experimental and example stuff like weapons, animation, audio shaders for the Steam Workshop. So the modders can create easier new stuff um, for the gamers after that. So this is a really good thing. You see Valve is still working a lot on Half-Life Alyx, what I really appreciate. And um, yeah, if you already played Half-Life Alyx and you are bored, then go to the Steam Workshop and download cool mods and maps for Half-Life Alyx. So the first gameplay material of um, the upcoming arena shooter Solaris of World Combat is here and it looks pretty cool. When we check it out here, it looks futuristic, it looks very fast, a uh, little bit like Quake or something I would say. Uh, look at this here and uh, I really hope there's not much motion sickness because you're flying around and stuff. Um, so the game will be released on August 27th, 2020 on Oculus Quest and Oculus Rift, so the only Oculus platform and later on the PlayStation VR. I hope you will be able to play, play it with Revive. Um, so why do I show this? Because the developer First Contact Entertainment also made 500 Hour and that was really, really awesome. So I really hope this is going to be awesome as well. Solaris. A lot of people asked me, when will the Oculus Quest version of Onward be released. So I cannot tell you that, but at least this month um, there will be the first gameplay shown for the Oculus Quest version of Onward and I'm really looking forward to that because uh, it will be the full game playable on the Oculus Quest and also with cross-play and mod support. Awesome! That means we can also play the 
Oculus Quest version together with our friends that play the PC version. So the servers will be very, very full uh, when that's released. I'm totally looking forward to that. Onward on the Oculus Quest. And another Oculus Quest announcement, one of the best or even the best uh, bow and arrow game in death is coming to Oculus Quest in July 2020. Not a long time to wait and I totally love this game. You can find gameplay of the PC version on my channel. Um, I think the Oculus Quest version will uh, have a little bit lower graphics but it's totally fine, it's totally worth it. Um, you really need to play it if you have the Oculus Quest in death. So it's a long time that I showed this on my channel, the demo of Gnomes and Goblins and I really thought the project is uh, cancelled, but it's not. It's coming soon. It's so cute, these little goblins and uh, it's a VR adventure, interactive VR adventure. Um, I totally love that really and I will show it to you as soon as it's out. They only said soon, there's no exact date, but I'm really looking forward to Gnomes and Goblins. So let's check out the releases this week. Um, there was a, an, a big event on Steam and there are a lot of uh, free VR demos that you can play. So just filter the list uh, for uh, supports VR and then uh, sort by release date and then you can find all the VR demos. I will not show them all now, uh, that's, that would uh, take a lot of time. Um, just try them, there's a cool stuff for example, like Spellbound Spire, try them, they are for free. Also, there's Antidot, this is um, an escape room game in a laboratory. Then we have Flying Hero VR, this is a superhero um, <laughs> simulator where you have to um, free the cats, the kittens, oh my god. So, before we check out the sales this week, thanks to Björn Hamburg for your support this week. If you want to support me on Patreon or YouTube membership, you can do this from one buck per month and you get behind the scenes videos and cool other stuff. For example, my supporters already have some cool pictures of my Stavi R1 that I received uh, from the headset and they know a little bit more of course. So uh, on Steam, Holoball, this is an action um, arena sport game, 40% um, off on the Oculus Quest, uh, Ghost Giant and Curious Tail in a package for 32% off. Then the package Free Diver, uh, Triton Dawn and Titans of Space, 21% off. On the Oculus Rift, we have Seeking Dawn, a cool uh, action adventure, 70% off. Battle Wake, um, Fights on the High Sea, 50% off. Shadow Legend, a cool RPG adventure. 54% um, off Sprint Vector, a cool sport game, 50% off Raw Data, really cool shooter, 50% off Sacralith, bow and arrow game, 54% uh, off and Mervils, a very cool jump and run game, 75% off. I, I really hope you liked the weekly news this week. If yes, give me a thumbs up and yeah, see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo.de